Seems someone wants me hospitalized. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Evil Within. When we last left off, we finally managed to get to Chapter 5 in a recess. Yeah, this is uh, where the game starts getting a little bit wonky with some of the enemies. But, you know, it's all good. We'll, we'll make it through. We always do. Probably my least favourite enemy coming up. Oh, look. Oh. The mouse will work. For a second there before it didn't okay <laughs> all right i'm not even going to bother reading those journals guys uh feel free to pause if you want to read the journals i always read the journals but only when the game actually allows you to read the journals for me my ass necessary my ass right okay let's go and have a little poke around in here shall we all right see what the old nurse has got for us oh apparently she's not there she is. It's been a while since your last visit. Yes. What's the matter? Did you just wake up? Alright, well, we've got nothing there. And nothing there. Ah, there's our paper. Excellent. So, investigation stalls in serial killer case. Community cautiously optimistic. Citing a lack of new leads, police suspect serial killer may have gone into hiding or moved on. Hmm. Well, that's all that there is here. Now, do we have a key? I can't remember. Might have one. God, just walking around this place is just so slow and ugh. Right, oh, we've got two. All right. Now. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now these key lockers are completely randomized. So you never know what you're going to get. And every run is different. Ugh, green gel. So there's no point in just doing anything other than working slowly through them. I guess we'll grab some bullets. We are going to need bullets coming up. We're also going to need some ammo for this bad boy. Because... We've got these new invisible enemies coming up, and they, yeah, they kind of suck, to be honest. I don't like them at all. Best way I found of dealing with them is the agony crossbow, because although they're completely invisible, the laser does actually break when they walk through it, which is probably like the only way I can really um, take them out. I mean, I suppose you could probably use other bolts from the crossbow as well, but we haven't really got those yet. Not in any meaningful quantity, anyway. So, you know. Now. Aha. Nice. Map Fragment 8. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Let's start robbing some of these rooms. Hello. I think she's alright. Yeah, she's fine. Okay, so we've got two bullets back here. I'm gonna have to remember those. What else have we got? Oh, hello, sir. Pretty sure these guys don't. Yeah, yeah, they're all kind of in our head. That's fine. This game is trying its absolute best to be spoopy. Bless it. It's rather cute, really, when you think about it. Now, uh, what else have we got around here? Ah. I can hear an enemy, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there he is. There's the invisible guy. There we go. Come on. Yeah, when I say they're invisible, I mean they're literally invisible. <clears throat> Apart from his meat chunks, uh, obviously not invisible. Yeah. 
we're going to be leaning quite heavily on this crossbow. I mean, there's not like a load of them on this level, but there's enough that make them a little bit irritating. Um, so, let's make some standard bolts. I don't think we can pick these back up once we fired them. I don't think. We can only hold two of them, which is... I don't know, actually. It's a double-edged sword. It's going to stop us from making loads and loads and loads. Alright. Alright. I guess, I guess the nurse had a really good time in there. That's definitely the nurse making noise. But she's not going to be the worst thing we're going to be bumping into today. Not by a long shot. Ooh, big old bar of, uh, jar of brain gel here. Lovely. Just what Looks we like wanted. Down. Yeah, don't worry. We're going to be going down. But before we go down, make sure there's no items up here. I don't think there is. Pretty sure. I guess. So, ah, yeah, through there. Ooh. There's a rat. A rat that has a key. Thanks, pal. I'll be having that. You're one of the good ones, rat. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Alright. Let's keep the crossbow close. Crossbow and the brain gel. Close as we can. Now, you can smash your way through. But there isn't really any need. Oh, we must walk very softly here. Because I know we're not alone. Here we go. And that is the wrong bolt. <laughs> that was not what we wanted, was it, Sab? I mean, honestly, you big old doofus. Try that again, Sab. There we go. That'll do him. No, not quite. Not quite. We'll finish him off with one of those then. The old finishing touch. I guess we better uh, make some more bowgun ammo. Uh, we guess we could make some electrical charges. Yeah, we just want the standard harpoons. Yeah, you can see if you start leaning heavily into this. Uh, harpoon weapon, you can really run your uh, ammo pretty clear. Very quickly. But, that's okay. That's what it's there for. That's why we've hoarded it for so long. These invisible gits. Pretty sure there's another one through there? Maybe? There's definitely another one when we come back here. So I think in total we've got four in this area. It's always four. Yep. One for you. Come on, dude. Let's be having ya. See if we can get him with the next. Oof. guess he's still got some more to him. Yep, he's still coming. Come on, sunshine. Huh? What do you think of that? That's what I thought. Alright. So. Let's have a quick little sweep around here. I don't think there's any more enemies around. Not yet. 
And I always think this is a big hole in the uh, room, but it isn't. So, let's construct some more ammo. Uh, definitely going to want the harpoons. It's all about the harpoons. Now, if I remember correctly, like the top level upgrade for the harpoon um, is actually... Uh, it makes the bolts glowing red hot, which is really quite powerful. Oh, we're at we're completely full of syringes. At eight. I mean, it does help knowing this game pretty well. Give me, thank you. Hospital keycard. This keycard belonged to one of the hospital staff. It appears to have the blood of its previous owner on it. Well, that's okay. Nothing wrong with a bit of blood. In that right, Sab. Ain't that right? Oh, hello. I thought that was another one. How curious. That solved his problem. You son of a bitch. Right, let's go grab that shotgun shell that we left back here. I think it was just like one singular shotgun shell. Oh, yes. Let's have all this running, mate, is good for you. You've let yourself go into some piss poor shape. Now, if my memory is correct, and. And you know what? I'm sure it is. There's still one more invisible guy. And I think he's back out the way we came, but. We should be able to avoid him. Definitely not worth fighting. Yeah, mum. There we go. Yeah, we don't need to bother with him. It's just a waste of time. And a waste of precious resources. Lovely. Okay, cool. So. Ah, hey, Rubik. How's it going? Right, what have we got? We've got a shotgun fully loaded. Might be worth inhaling a syringe. Just for the sake of it. I think we're good. Oh, hello. Some more ammo that we can't carry. Excellent. I don't know what Shinji was thinking, like, when uh, he put such a poultry arbitrary limit on your uh, resources it's just odd really odd I mean I suppose it's one way of making upgrades but yeah ah yes this room the mysterious foggy head room now I do like the kind of body horror that's everywhere in this game Let's go have a little... No, not not through there, Sab. We want to go through the door. I know you control like a pregnant fridge, but still. Try and work with me here, friend. The simulation of subject's consciousness. Initial symptoms. Sharp pain and brainstem and centered on insertion point. Followed by gradual onset of hemorrhaging as capillaries dilate. Over time, degradation of the ego generates strong suicidal tendencies. They lose who they are and become clay, completely reshapeable in my image. But not me. Something keeps me from staying completely within. <gasps> the evil within, maybe. Maybe he is the evil within. Look at all this. Like all these brain diagrams everywhere. I guess... I was going to say acupuncture points, but no, not acupuncture points. Dude, seriously. That's quite enough noise out of you 
honestly. Alright, let's solve your problem. Now, which button? One of these buttons is certain death. One of these buttons is not certain death. So if you get this wrong, you die instantly. So let's not get it wrong, eh? Lovely. Letting out the precious life energy. All right, let's try another door, shall we? Oh, there's an old man studying a diagram. I'm guessing this is like the stages of life. Beruvik. Because we'll see him as, a, as kind of like a decrepit old chap. Might not even be Ruvik, to be honest. Might be like Ruvik's dad or whatever. I, I can't even really remember the storyline to this game. I don't really care either, <laughs> I'll be honest. Underground facility note. He lies. And to his own son, his own flesh and blood, it is outrageous. Gone to a better place, that hypocrite. That sanctimonious fool. I know the truth. I know him better than he knows himself. He's trying to punish me again. He always resented our closeness. He thinks he can use it against me. Does he take me for a fool? Laura is not dead. Oh? <laughs> she will be. Um, so Laura, eh? Laura is the girl that's uh, running around, the big monster with all the hair. The instant kill woman. I might do some reading on the story for this game. And there is the young boy. I'm guessing that's Ruvik as a child. It's pretty obvious that that's Ruvik as a child. <clears throat> I mean, hell, if I could draw like that when I was his age, I'd, uh, well, probably wouldn't be sitting here making uh, videos for YouTube. That That's for sure. Nothing in here. Which one? Which one? Ah, of course I know. <laughs> I've done that 683,000 times. Well, maybe not that many, but a few. Um, right. So now... I, ah, yeah. Now we get the big spoopy fourth door. The horribly horrifying door. Alright. I don't think we have any more invisible enemies for a while. In fact, I don't think we've got any more invisible enemies for this chapter. Hey! It's Joseph. I believe his name is Joseph. Joseph? Yep. <laughs> In milk. I assume that's milk. I hope that's milk. Well, thank God you're okay. I don't know what I am, but it's definitely not okay. You brought me here. Jesus, what happened? My head feels like. Well, I mean, admittedly, he was uh, laying on this giant nutsack here, so it could be another white fluid. Yeah, right, buddy, you sound like a picture of health. I'm sure everything's going to be gravy. Pull yourself together, man. I don't know what he means by we brought him here. Let's get out of here fast. Pretty sure we all decided to come along for the ride. Alright, what have we got here? Ah! Is that a save room? Yeah, it's not a save room. Alright. 
I guess we can play. What's in the locker? Nothing. Shotgun shells. Brain juice. Does one of these have a body in or something? Or an enemy. I vaguely remember that. Yep. There we go. Yes. Oh. Nah, he's dead. He's dead, Jim. Right, more brain juice. So, how many shotgun shells do we have there? I've got two. Remember that. We can come back and collect two shotgun shells if we so desire. Some burnable material here. I hear deadites. Oh, hello. Ah, there's a couple. Keep your eyes peeled. Uh, yeah. Why don't you keep your eyes peeled? Because uh, I can see plenty. Okay, this is going to get worse before it gets better. Oh, that's him shooting. I thought that other guy had woken up behind us. There you go, guys. Enjoy. Let's try and be as efficient as we can with our precious few ooh, shots that we have available to us. <laughs> yes, burn my babies. Burn. Alright, well, that worked surprisingly well. Yeah, I'm fun in there, uh, Jacob. You do the Lord's work for us. That's what we like. You got one? Hey, Jacob, you got one, mate. Well done. Um, right, we'll have you. We shall have... We shall not have you, I guess. Um... Oh, hey, friend. Now, I know you come to life. Well, that was pathetic. That was absolutely useless. Let's throw one of our precious matches onto the floor, shall we? Maybe you don't come to life. Oh. I mean, he's shaking. Do not come to life. Yeah, you do. Thought you did. Well, come on, Jacob. He's all yours. Go on. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. I believe. Oh, Jesus. Don't piss Jacob off, I guess. You'll spread your brains all over the wall. Fine work, Jacob. Fine work. Uh, cool. Let's keep going. Oh, wait. Before we go that way. Oh, why would there be any goodies this way? Okay. Okay, a little bit spoopier down here. Ooh, yes. We have the bombed door. Pretty sure Jacob sorts that out for us. This looks pretty sophisticated. Why would they put a bomb like this? I do you think we can get past you it. You tell me. Stand back. Let me see if I can disarm it. I hope you can. Otherwise, we're going to have a bad time. How's it going there, Chief? I guess that wasn't that hard after all, eh? Bathtubs. What is it with the sound? I thought it was something electronic. Calm down, Jacob. Oof. <laughs> His brain is literally bubbling out of his ears. It's probably not good. Probably. I 
haven't been feeling well, but... Look, let's just get out of here. There's something wrong with this place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's something wrong with this place. Gee, Seb, could you point out three things that's wrong with this place? Just give me three things, you know. For a start, Seb, I don't think we're in a hospital. I know, shocking, but I'm getting the vibe that we're somewhere outside of reality. They're just a hunch. You alright back there, Jacob? You good? Good. Brain stopped leaking out your ears? Perfect. Let's go climb up the world's longest ladder. The world's longest ladder outside of um, Metal Gear Solid 3, anyway. So we have some shotgun shells. Very nice. We have... Ooh. Definitely could use some matches. I guess we can't use shotgun shells. Don't punch it. Take it. Okay. Actually, isn't there like... Yeah, there is. Map fragment numero nine. Now, I believe... Back in here... There is a map fragment. I knew it. No, not a map fragment. There's... Have you forgotten newspaper. Something? Well, not quite forgotten something, but mental patients claim abuse. Abuse only tip of the iceberg. Patients at Beacon Mental Hospital claim that they're being used in behavioral engineering experiments by unknown agency. Oh, well, how about that? Uh, I think we have one key to spend. It's almost not worth like trying to go through this door, is it? The world's slowest door. We do have one key. Okay. Uh, six shotgun shells. That's not bad. Plus, the, that takes up to 14. We've got lots of ammo here. So, I mean, that's something, I guess. Starting to fill the map in as well. Uh, I believe by the time we finish... I have made some notes here. I believe by the time we finish this chapter, we should be on map fragment 10, I think. Nothing there. Cool. Go. Let's get out of here. Alright, buddy. You ready? You ready for some action? I thought you would be. 